Hi guys. Um, so welcome to <laughs> Music for F Distance Learning and Remote Instruction. I will try to give you guys just short. Maybe I'm trying to keep this to 10, 15 minutes uh, lecture and practice materials from the book mostly, so that uh, we can just kind of keep the class together and everyone's working on the same stuff. And then I'll meet you guys individually over Zoom. So make sure if you haven't yet to. Um, reply to that doodle poll, <clears throat> and I'll try to get that squared off by the end of today, uh, Tuesday, so that by tomorrow morning um, we'll have a schedule uh, for meetings. So that'll be fun. And in the meantime, um, let's talk about the modes. So welcome to chapter 20. Chapter 20 begins on page 354. And as you can see, we'll have a lot of uh, 353, 354. And um, we'll have a lot of melodies here, um, which takes take us a step, a big step back in history before we uh, move forward uh, towards the middle of this quarter and the end towards 20th century and post-tonal idioms. So that will involve um, uh, non-pitch non centricity and much more difficult things, anything goes kind of melodies. We'll get there. Uh, in the meantime, this will be, I think, review for a lot of people, um, but it'll also be uh, a good way to practice different patterns of half steps and whole steps. So, of course, we've introduced scales already that are outside of major and minor. Think to um, think about uh, the whole tone scale that we've sung. Um, think about the octatonic scale, and I would recommend practicing these, continuing to keep those in your mind. Uh, I'll I'll even do videos on those coming up pretty soon. Um, in the meantime, the modes are going to be much closer to our our familiar major and minor uh, uh, scales here. Um, so the chapter begins, chapter 20 begins with an introduction to modes, and I think, as I say, most of this should be review, um, but if it isn't, I'll give a brief primer here. Um, so they say, you know, mode refers to the pattern of half steps and whole steps, this is correct. Um, however, uh, I do not really think of them as scales. And so the, the actual important um, thing I want to remember here is that they are characteristic uh, gestures or um, patterns of half steps and whole steps that form um, that form melodic gestures. And the melodic gestures are made up of, as they say, half steps and whole steps. So, um, uh, just slight alterations from major and minor, and we'll see how these work uh, just here. So, um, the first thing to remember: we don't have to learn all six because we already know Ionian is major, um, and Aeolian is minor, and these are starting on the white notes of the keyboard. Um, so, if you start on C, as we know you get C major, and if we start on A and end on A, as you know, we get A minor. And that already actually suggests the, the, the modal aspect that I want to talk about is that they are really the same pitches, of course, and um, the, what matters is where you start and where you end. Uh, and and that, that, that emphasis point, if I'm emphasizing C, if I'm creating C as my center using leading tone, using fa, mi, um, that's going to create a C major sound. And if I use my emphasis point as A, I'm going to use le, sol, and te, le, sol, la, ti, do, etc., me, of course, that's going to make us think of minor. And um, th these emphasis points already get us the feeling here of uh, characteristic gesture again. So that's that's kind of what I mean already. Um, it, and I want to I want to keep these in mind, and because we'll practice a few of these and we'll learn these. So, what are the new modes we have to learn? Well, it's just these four. So uh, Dorian beginning on D and ending on D with all the white notes. Phrygian beginning on E and ending on E, etc. With Lydian and Mixolydian. Um, and we'll remember these. I think it. It helps a lot of people to remember them like this. So Dorian, uh, starting on D and ending on D, is just like natural minor, but with a raised six. So let's hear that. Here's Dorian. 
do, do, re, me, fa, sol, la, te, do, te, la, so, fa, me, re, do. Good. So right away you notice that natural minor is the dominant feeling here. Do, me, so, do, te. But here's the difference. La. Raised six. Raised scale degree six. Dorian is the one with minor with la. Minor with la. Why don't we just write that? Minor with la equals Dorian. Um, and Phrygian, well, this isn't much harder. We can just move to E, start on E, and go up and down focusing with characteristically gesturing around E. Do, ra, me, fa, so, le, te, do, te, le, so, fa, me, ra, do. Yeah, so good. This will also remind us probably of natural minor because it is all natural minor. Do, me, so, te. I'm sorry, le, te, do, te, le, so, fa, me, with one big difference, ra, do. So this is just like natural minor with, um, with lowered two, with flat two. So um, let's add that where we, we would mention that minor with ra is Phrygian. Okay, so you can remember it this way. Um, number three of the new ones, Lydian, beginning and ending on F, <coughs> um, will, uh, will sound like major, just like in major you get a major four chord, C major you go up to F. Do, re, mi, fi, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fi, mi, re, do. I would recommend practicing that one a few times, just having fi, neutralized here, not with its old uh, power that we I used to talk about so much where, okay, where phi is just pushing so hard to sol. Now some of that um, tendency is erased when we're talking about modes because the characteristic gesture of, uh, one of the characteristic gestures of Lydian, for example, is to descend with phi, and that's less common in major, which is modulating, or major with sharp four, as we've learned in previous uh, 4B, and, or sorry, 4C and 4D, etc. DE, etc. So, in, in, let's try in, in um, Lydian. Do, so, fi, mi. That's one of these gestures we should practice. Do, so, la, fi, mi, re, do. And you hear the modal quality of it. It doesn't quite sound major. If you if you cancel out the tendency of phi to move to sol by descending, you'll get a Lydian sound. Do ti la sol mi fi mi re. Sorry, <laughs> like, but um, you know, you get the idea. Practice a few um a few different ways with this. La so fi la mi. Things like that will um, will reinforce the Lydian sound as major with raised four, major with raised four. So that we'll, we'll call major with phi equals Lydian. Okay, and one more would be mixo, and mm, this one is going to be also major. So you can categorize them this way: two are major with alterations. Those and two are minor with alterations. So mixo is going to be major with te. That's going to be lowered seventh scale step. So let's hear that one. Uh, let's start and end on G. Uh, let's see, can I slide my keyboard over a little bit? No, evidently I cannot. So I will just play, I will just play like this. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, te, do, etc. And let's think of some characteristic gestures in the um, in the mixolydian mode. 
And these are gonna involve te, te do, and te not descending to la, like we got so used to hearing do, mi, do, te, la, do, fa. Okay, that's going to be major one surging with a seventh towards four, and that sound is, again, tonal music, major mode sound. What we don't get so much in the Mixolydian is a gesture that goes always from one to four, from the one chord to the four chord, as we have the do, mi, do, te, la, do, fa. Less of that, and more of things like this. Do, mi, re, do, te, do. Okay, that's going to be your modal sound, especially te, do. Because, as you'll notice, every single one here, except except Lydian, this is the exception, has T. Um, all the other three of the modes, and major, ha uh, sorry, <laughs> and natural minor, have te. And one of the most characteristic gestures that you hear in any mode is te. Um, sorry, uh, let's stick with G, with mixo. It's te, do, do, re, mi, re, do, te, do. And stuff like that. Actually, I'm clicking with the mouse. I could be going like, do re mi re do te do, so mi do te do, fa re do te do, la te do. Okay, so these are going to be some of the characteristic gestures you should practice. I almost think of them as doing the opposite of what we would expect these altered pitches to do in tonal music. And what I mean by the opposite is just, again, in Dorian, La, using La as part of this upper half of the scale. Let's get Dorian again. Do, me, so, la, te, do, te, la, so. Using La there as, as just a stable thing, not a tendency tone, nothing like that. Just a gestural pattern of half steps and whole steps. So I've practiced the top half of the Dorian scale. So, la, te, do, te, la, so. And then the rest is uh, minor. So, fa, me, re, do. Now, with Phrygian, it's going to be um, the flat two, um, but not leading to the five chord, right? There's no five chord in the modes. It's just these gestures. So let's practice some of those. Do. Let's start with a, um, just up to sol and back down. Do, ra, me, fa, so, fa, me, ra, do. Do, te, do, ra, do. That's a very Phrygian sound. Do, te, do, me, ra, do. Things like that. Yeah, and with Lydian, I, I think you get my intention here is for you to just play around with the modes, practice different iterations of them and different ways that they uh, feel in the different patterns of half steps and whole steps, of course. Good, okay, so you can read this on your own. Let's do a little bit of practice together with some music. Um, so, of course, I encourage you to practice this on your own. I'll just take another minute or so to, um, to do some music here. Uh, let's sight read this top one, why not? Um, so we'll be asking you to listen and be able to identify the modes by ear, of course. So how are you going to do that? Well, you have to recognize that one unique feature that makes that mode stand out. So we're listening for, is it minor with la, in which case it's Dorian? Is it minor with ra, in which case it's Phrygian? Major with phi would be Lydian, and major with te would be Mixolydian. And for the most part, they're going to be one or another. So we won't get to too much in terms of combined modes and things like that. Although maybe later. But for now, we'll just do one or the other. So what's this first one here? Let's take a look. Well, it seems like we're focused on D and A as primary tones here. So we're in 6-4, which we can kind of count as 6-8. Let's scan this quickly together. So I'm saying... Uh, something familiar from maybe natural minor could be do so fa so, mm -hmm. and then here do so fa te. Ah, so here, how are we going to get that leap to te? Do so fa. 
well, I would recommend almost using an imagined octave from Do. Do, so, fa, do, te, la, so. And again, if you've practiced the Dorian upper half of the scale, do, te, la, so, you'll recognize that part as a characteristic Dorian gesture. So, I'm oh, sorry, so, fa, te, la, so. Okay. So run through that a couple of times. So fa te la so fa so. Here up to do. Do do la. That's going to be just like major uh, for a second. If we ignore that there's no T here, of course we'll get to te in a second. But um, keeping in mind this top half of the Dorian scale is the important part. Do te la so la te do is going to um, play around with that here. Do, do, la, la, te, te, so. And then this part is the bottom half of the Dorian scale, which is just natural minor. Let's try the whole thing together. Ready? One, la, li, two. Do, so, so, fa, so, 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 do. Ah, ooh, ah, that was bad. I'll try it again. One, la, li, two. La. Do, so, so, fa, so, 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 do. Do, so, fa, te, la, so, fa, so. So, do, do, la, la, te, te, so. Do, me, fa, so. Good, okay. Okay, we got it that time. That's the Dorian one. Let's try uh, the next one and see how we do with that. So this one is... This one is... beginning on E and seems to be focused on E and B. Okay, just like this one was focused on D and A, so that's giving us a hint. Here's E. No, do, re, me, fa, so. Okay, that would be the natural minor, however... Look here. Here we have do uh oh F natural do ra me fa ra do. Okay, we can practice that. And in other respects, it's actually gonna be very similar to the last one. Here we're reading in E natural minor, except with no sharp, no F sharp, so F natural. But otherwise it's gonna be like natural minor on the top. So here this is gonna be do uh oh, sorry. Do 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 te le so right so do do te so le le fa try that again do do te so le le fa and going on so le so fa and then that ending, do, ra, me, fa, ah, sorry, do, ra, me, fa, ra, do. Good, so, okay, uh, right before I wrap up, let's just try this one together. One, la, li, two, la, li, do, so, ah, and there we go, making mistakes again. Do, so, fa, so, le, fa, so, do, do, te, so, le, le, fa, so, le, so, so, fa, fa, do, do, ra, 